after I installed the uh, solar panel and the small grid inverter, uh, it started to rain and uh, we can't do anything at the moment and uh, I'm probably shooting this video at, uh, you know, far away uh, just waiting for the rain to, you know, to settle and you can see in this roof uh, we have uh, 150 watt uh, solar panel installed uh, just for the small grid uh, inverter and uh, still have plenty of space for, for future uh, upgrade Okay, one thing good about the small on grid inverter is that uh, you can start with something very small, uh, something very affordable, and once you know you have more budget, uh, you can add in uh, more solar panel, uh, you know, and increase uh, the solar power. All right, and for example, in this roof, uh, Martina's house, you can see that she has plenty of space uh, for future upgrade. Okay, uh, as you can see just now, it's uh, raining outside and uh, this is where she put the uh, alpha on-grip, small on-grip inverter uh, and she just plug into the socket uh, at her house and where is the uh, solar power uh, convert to 240 VAC and went into the house grip, alright? And because it's raining outside, I'm not sure uh, whether there is uh, enough power uh, for the on-grip inverter. Uh, let me check it out. Um, yep, there is a uh, solar power. And you can see the small uh, green LED is blinking. All right. Yep, it's blinking. It's what that, that, that means is actually is converting a DC uh, power to AC. Yeah, the DC voltage uh, 17V to uh, 240 VAC, 50 Hz, so that uh, this will able to pump into the house grip, okay? And she also uh, installed a, a solar MCB, all right? She just put it somewhere near at her convenience. Uh, in fact, actually, she installed the system uh, inside her kitchen, all right, beside the kitchen. Uh, the reason that uh, she did that is because uh, she believed that uh, during the morning, uh, most of the time her mother uh, will, you know, spend more time in the kitchen and use a lot of appliances in the kitchen, and and she believed that uh, where is the uh, the power usage will be, so she can be very conveniently just to put the uh, small uh, on-grid inverter near the kitchen, all right, where the sun power uh, can be utilized, all right. Now I think the rain is about going to stop, but still have some desiring. I um, just need to go up and show you uh, where is the solar panel is, all right. Okay, uh, still raining. Okay, yep, this is the uh, solar panel, okay, she can just put it uh, any place that she want, uh, conveniently, uh, alright, simple and fast, and you know, plug in with the uh, MC4, okay, MC4, alright, and all the way down, okay, to her bathroom, yeah, and straight away to the kitchen all right so this is a uh, very straightforward diy uh, you can put it anywhere you like and because it's so small so all you need is just to find a socket all right and plug into your house grip and then where's the solar power come from Finally, uh, the rain has stopped and the sun has come out, alright? And you can see this uh, project is actually done in uh, Kuching, Sarawak and the grid provider is actually is Sesco. Uh, it's a bit different from the Peninsula Malaysia, which is TNB. 
and you will find out the small grip uh, inverter is working well in a different kind of power grip uh, provider and this is already proof that uh, in today's world uh, in Malaysia especially uh, everyone can harvest the sun power uh, at, at a very affordable way and a very easy uh, just a small grip uh, inverter and plus uh, some solar panel um, you can easily harvest the sun